Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your November 2023 tarot reading. This is a reading for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey, we are going to get right into it today, but I do want to welcome anyone who is new here to the channel and also let you all know that I post new readings on Monday, then again on Friday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are different every week. Today's reading will be a detailed Celtic cross style reading, but then next week could be something entirely different. I've also started adding a Wednesday reading for money and career periodically. So if you don't mind hitting the like button on this reading, it will help so that people will see this one, but it will also tell YouTube when those Wednesday readings come out to show those to you in your algorithm. All right, what advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Cancer? Guidance for Cancer, please. All right, we are going to lay out the cards here in a Celtic cross, and then I'm going to pull a Moonology manifestation card just to bring the whole thing together. Current situation, you have the Nine of Pentacles. The immediate influence is the Queen of Swords. You have the Star in your subconscious, the Two of Pentacles in the distant past, the King of Cups. I said Two of Pentacles. I meant Two of Cups. Uh, King of Cups in the more recent past, the energy of the world is coming towards you. You're represented by the... Page of Pentacles, the person or situation you're attracting is judgment. You have the Ten of Cups in your hopes and fears, and you've got the Nine of Cups. That's pretty cool. Now, there's 78 cards here, and this is just interesting to me and maybe not everyone else here, but the, the Nine and Ten are, are close enough together. They're not quite in order, right? Um, but then you also have Judgment here, which comes right before the world. And so there's something about this. I mean, we're dealing with sacred divination. If they could get the cards in the exact order every time, I'd get too scared and stop reading. But I definitely feel like you have a new cycle coming that feels like a homecoming. If you're trying to work on getting something done or you're looking for a relationship, I feel like here it is right here. But I also get too, if somebody's moving, this is phenomenal energy for anybody who's moving. So let's see here. <clears throat> I believe it came out like this, the 10 and then the 9. Okay, so we have, we're going to do the bottom three. Um, we've got the Emperor, the Death card, and the Ace of Swords. So that makes us at a total of five major arcana. That's fairly significant here in terms of the number of cards we have. We have Aquarius we have Leo and Taurus, Aries, Scorpio here, and the Archangel Gabriel. So now we're going to just take one of these Moonology cards just to kind of round out the reading. What else does Cancer need to know, please? Okay, so you have here New Moon and Libra. Know you are loved, okay? So especially because you do have the single lady card in the center position. If you are single, know that there's love available here for you, okay? Don't feel like there's nobody out there for you. I get that periodically from people. And the other thing I would say to anybody who's having trouble is, you know, are they, are they getting themselves out in new patterns? Because if we stay in the same old familiar patterns, it may be difficult to attract new love. If we don't start getting out there and at least interacting with more people and letting people know that you're interested and you know, letting friends or other people know if they start to want to try to get to know you, maybe not as your love interest, but they might know somebody. So know that you are loved. And if you've been through a difficult time, if you had a job loss or something that was disappointing to you, you don't really, you don't have anything tremendously horrible here, Cancer, just to be honest, but I do feel like if you've had some difficulties in the past, I don't see those coming back around anytime soon. So you have some very direct information here, especially with the Emperor and that Ace of Swords. It's very no nonsense and it's also very, very trustworthy. What you see is what you get. So if you were on the search for a home or you had somebody who advised you and said, oh, that one's a lemon. If you found a realtor who even does like, there are a lot of them who are starting to do 
things on YouTube and then they've got their own kind of like membership platform where they'll give you their actual advice on a home. And I think they don't probably do that on YouTube because they don't want to be sued. I mean, I hate to say that, but I feel like some of the things where they are, some of these people are very direct and say, no, that one's a dud or here's what's going to happen. If you need to get insurance, you might need to get insurance and that sort of thing. So I feel like you had somebody here that gave you great guidance. Now, if it was something to do with a relationship and you learned some information that caused you to say you had to move on, I definitely feel like you have a new relationship. Whatever it is that you had to move on from, it's not the end. It's the beginning, especially with death. Death is like the first day of the rest of your life. And so the death card comes in to transform your life. It's an absolute glorious, fantastic rebirth. It's an exhilarating change. It is not a negative thing. You see that skeleton that represents your higher self, the way it's postured and everything's moving forward. The death card is so rich and layered in symbolism, but it truly is a card that says your ships are coming in. And so I do feel like with the emperor, you may have gotten some, some information that was very straightforward that you just couldn't ignore. But it is bringing you into a new chapter. It's wonderful energy. And like I said, very, very trustworthy. So with this Queen of Swords, you have it again, too. Very no nonsense. And you may have had somebody, too, um, who, who delivers things with a bit of wit and sarcasm. They are funny, even if it was a bit of a gut punch. Like you, it was like the house of your dreams or an area you've dreamed about moving to, but you discovered something about it that you say, that's just not going to work. I need to dream a new dream. I'm living in reality a bit here. And so with that nine of pentacles, that's like achievement though. So I do feel like if you had to course correct a bit, it's going to be right. It's going to be just in the way that you'd want it. With the nine of pentacles, it's giving you more guidance into she stands in a small paradise. So whatever you're being directed towards, I feel like it's going to be a lot less stressful. So if you even had to redesign your thoughts, your dreams, your focus a bit, I still feel like the outcome is going to be great. It's not giving up as much as it's about realigning some things to really get to where you want to get to. Because I do feel like if things would have worked out in your original plan, it would have been hella stressful. That's what I hear. I don't even use that word, but I keep hearing hella stressful. And so you have two nines here, which we like in the tarot. Nines are about completion and their attainments, their goals accomplished. You have the one of the lottery tickets of the tarot with the Nine of Cups and the luxury card with the Nine of Pentacles. So both good things, both reasons to rejoice. So you have the star card here in your subconscious, which is telling you there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Your subconscious is pushing you towards fulfillment, towards wish fulfillment, and trying to tell you there's more coming, but it's an unshakable faith. This is a card of unshakable faith and an unstoppable quest to move forward into your dreams. And so your subconscious is working on your behalf. So know that if something didn't work out as you originally planned, that's happening for you. It's like, again, your subconscious knows things that you don't know in your waking mind. There are conversations being had that you don't hear or see, but your subconscious has a vibrational quality and is driving you towards really your dreams. That's what this is all about. So you're tapped into a limitless flow from the universe with this one. If you are having a hard time, know that everything's getting a lot better with this. It is a card, though, of meditation, of spirituality. I mentioned this before. I can't remember if I've told you guys or not. But somebody left me a comment a while ago that they were going ham on their spiritual life. That's like this, okay? So whatever it is, it's time to kick it up a notch spiritually because it's bringing in your dreams so in the distant past, you had a match here. And for some of you, if you're still with this person, I do see your relationship going into a deeper level of commitment. There's real love here, no doubt about it. And if you've had some financial issues, the two of you, like one of you owed some maybe some student loan debt or some other kind of debt that was hanging over you, I do see that getting cleared up and allowing the two of you to move forward. So finances have kind of been holding things up. I just don't see that continuing. With a judgment card, I feel like it's a decision that goes in your favor. Even if it's for your significant other, it's still helping you out too. So with this two of cups, it's a match either way. And if it is something about a job or a housing move, you do have a match showing up here. So if there's been a delay or like we were talking about, you felt like something happened 
that you couldn't overlook. You may have found out something about a job or even like we said, I keep getting it about a housing situation. Like you got somebody involved, whether it was an inspector, a realtor, somebody who gave good advice or even started watching YouTube videos. There's like one guy that does and he's, you know, he he's not glitzy. He doesn't have the best for, you know, camera equipment and all that kind of stuff, but he knows what he's talking about. If it's one of those where it's like, this is a person who's on here because they know what they're talking about. They might not have the best made things in the world, but they give something good. I feel like somebody here is connecting with that. So anyway, back to this with this King of Cups, it's you and your own energy. And so I do feel like you're going to move forward confidently with a knowing. You're also, they're also saying that you're on the right path here. So in terms of making decisions, this is a very mature energy. So you don't rush into decisions here. You're able to be in that place where you can kind of delay gratification a little bit. If that's important to you, if it's a job or even a move where you say, I'm not going to just race into this and end up in a bind. I'm just not going to. So I feel like I get this energy of caution, but it's also responsible. It's it's not about fear at all. It, it's more about information and knowledge that you've gained and using that to your advantage. Now, expect when you have this King of Cups energy to have people trust you, to have people tell you things maybe they shouldn't be, okay? Especially if it's something with a business type of dealing or a money type of dealing where you have somebody in a position where they'd say, oh, I could get fired for this, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Know that that's because of this energy. So people know they can talk to you, but they also have your best interest at heart. So even if it's a job and it's something like a personnel issue and they, they start telling you stuff that you go, oh, I know I'm not supposed to know that. Well, it's because of this. And truthfully, it gives you a leg up. I'd be, I'd keep it close to the vest and let them tell you because it's helpful information. It doesn't hurt you at all. And I do feel like too, if it's something like a promotion coming in, you have that big time, you are making big gains here. So when you have the world talk about perfection, this is one of those times when you are going to want to bask in this moment. Even if it's those little snapshots, like I said, where people are confiding things in you that you know you are not supposed to be privy to, I'm telling you what, soak that up because it's one of those times where you know you're on a higher vibrational plane. It's not gossip. It's not like that. It's more like trying to, I feel like trying to be as transparent as they can be. So if you know that that's for you, then that this is an important card. It is a card of success. It's a card of uh, nirvana, really getting every single thing that you've wanted is right here. When you reach the energy of the world, it truly is a time of achievement of really everything you've ever wanted right here. So you've got the page of pentacles representing you, Cancer. I like this page. It's definitely um, an optimistic, happy, charming, upbeat kind of energy, loving to learn. So I feel like you're going to be like a sponge. You may even feel like you're a bit of a private detective where it comes to money and jobs and things like that. Um, but this is also a card that says good news about finances. That's what it is. And so you're going to be working your way up the ladder. You're going to be making gains here. Now, in a relationship too, if like I said, if it was something with a partner that they had a financial issue, I do feel like this is a good message, a good new message about finances that's really going to help out. Um, and it just, like I said, it restores that feeling of vigor and positivity into your life where you say, yeah, we're making gains, no doubt about it. So the person or situation you're attracting is this beautiful Archangel Gabriel, and it is information that comes in, but it's pure success. This is self-mastery, and this is that time where you say there's absolutely nothing stopping this. We're moving forward. We've moved through the barriers and here's where you open your arms out wide to receive. So get ready to receive. You have it here too, by the way. I have to point this out. I feel like the next four months are going to be pivotal for you guys. You notice that? I mean, there's not that many cards where they have their arms outstretched and up high. So if you go to some kind of a, you know, some kind of a church or something where they're singing and people are doing this kind of worship stuff, hey, I'd say when in Rome, right? Join in on it. And if you say, no, I don't touch that kind of stuff. No problem. Put your arms up anyway and say, I'm ready to receive. Even if it's in your own bathroom, I do it and say, bring it on. I'm ready world. So with the nine of cups, you're going to be sitting pretty 
In terms of relationships, I do feel like you have something here. I get it in general, but I also get it with a relationship. That feeling of people confiding in you brings you closer. So I do feel like you have some kind of a relationship here that really moves your heart and soul. This is the kind of energy where you really do feel connected. You feel connected with the human race, with the people around you. But in terms of achievements, here you go. Here's your wish fulfillment, which by the way, we do have twice if, we, if I didn't mention that. What a beautiful blessed reading. All right, let's see now, Cancer, what the Fortune Oracle wants to tell you about money. All right, what else does Cancer need to know about money, please? You've got transformation. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life, and become the person you want to be. I agree, you've got it all the way through the reading. What else does Cancer need to know about love, please? This is from the Whispers of Love. You have turn on your heart light, reflect on a time when you experience love because that energy connection to love will attract more love into your lives. Good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you and I'll be back again soon.